from. It's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. Give me a darn break. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's every kind of radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. 1-800-5-800-TOM. 1-800-5-800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. And we are together again on the radio. This is a poll we talked about on the air. You remember we talked about this? Remember Maxim had a poll? They wanted to find out who their readers thought was the unsexiest woman alive. And do you remember who won that poll? Sarah Jessica Parker. That's right. Unsexiest woman. A magazine called Grazia interviewed Sarah Jessica Parker about this distinction. And she asked, am I really the unsexiest woman in the world? Wow, it's kind of shocking. Parker said the poll released last October was, quote, brutal and, quote, filled with rage and anger. Why do you say that? I mean, people have opinions. Somebody's the unsexiest woman alive. Somebody is. Maxim just asked people to tell who they thought was that, and the names that showed up at the top of the list were women who are well-known. She added, but on the other hand, I really like the choices I've made. I am who I am. Isn't that what Popeye said? Another, another looker. I am what I am. I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. Toot toot, yes. Now, for those who forget the poll, because we did talk about it on the air, Sarah Jessica Parker rated less sexy than Amy Winehouse, sitting there in rehab where she said she would never go and doing her eye makeup with a Sharpie. By the way, that woman is homely. Sandra O. Oh. By the way, I think Sandra O oh performs a very valuable function. She smashes myths about Asian women. You know, white guys all say, I'd love to be with an Asian woman. You show the picture of Sandra O, oh, and they're like, uh, well, uh, <laughs> another Asian woman. <laughs> you know, white guys are frequently hot for Asian women. Black guys, too, for that matter. And it's all based on stereotypes and fantasies and what have you. And Sandra, oh, oh, boy. Yikes. Uh, Madonna, uh, you, have to be, you have to be an old queen, or you have to have gone to junior high school in 1985 to care about Madonna, Okay. No red-blooded heterosexual male wants to have sex with Madonna, fantasize about Madonna, thinks she's sexy, period. The only reason any women think she's sexy is because women see her at 49 years old or whatever she is, and they say, well, there's still hope for me when I'm 49. Guess what, girls? There isn't. You're still going to be shopping uh, at Lane Bryant and Ross Dress for Less. 
You're never going to be Madonna. And frankly, Madonna's a dried up old prune, in my opinion. So uh, there you go. My God, Madonna. Uh, and honestly speaking, all right, you know, if, if you wanted to have sex with Madonna to say, hey, I had sex with Madonna, maybe I could see it. But what about these guys who marry her? Like, where has that been? The odometer went over 250,000 a long time ago. Oh, yes, and Britney Spears, who at one time was the sexiest woman in Maxim. Britney Spears is now ranked, uh, well, just slightly more sexy than Sarah Jessica Parker, Amy Winehouse, Sandra O, oh, and Madonna. The poll called Parker 43. This is Sarah Jessica Parker. A Barbaro faced broad. A reference to the Kentucky Derby winning racehorse. She is kind of horsey faced, you have to admit. Like her or not. Hey, I like horses as much as the next person. And want to be having sex with one. Says here, Parker said the poll also bothered her husband, Matthew Broderick. She said it upset him because it has to do with his judgment, too. <laughs> it does indeed, and it speaks for itself. Yes. The actress also told the magazine that just because she doesn't fit the ideals of a men's magazine doesn't mean she isn't beautiful. That's what the ugly always say. Well, just because I'm not a stereotypical beauty. <laughs> You're not even an offbeat beauty, okay? Let's be honest. You're an, I've met Sarah Jessica Parker. She's a nice person. She's a good person. She wouldn't hurt a fly. She's a smart person, no doubt, no doubt. But I don't know a man alive who would want to have sex with her. I've never met Matthew Broderick, but <laughs> I don't know anybody else. Parker said, do I have big fake boobs, Botox and big lips? No. Do I fit some ideals and standards of some men writing a men's magazine? Maybe not. Oh, boy. Unbelievable. But that's not all there is. I mean, if her body was perfect, she's still a two-bagger. Right? You got to be kidding me. All I have to say to Sarah Jessica Parker is man up. Take it like a man. You know, if you're going to go out there and put yourself out there as a fashion expert selling fragrances and shoes, whatever you're out there selling, uh, you have to expect that there's going to be some pushback from the guys, the guys who think you're a horsey face. Uh, guys, am I wrong about that? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-866. Better to have chicks who live a little bit of distance from you, don't have time to see you. She's got three more years to finish her PhD. So. Then you seem, by the way, you seem so accommodating. Honey, you've got that PhD to study for. You take all the time you need working on that. I understand. And when you've got all that free time, you bang on the chicks. That's what you do. It's the Tom Likas Show. Yep, the Tom Likas Show. Thank you for tuning in. 1-800-5800-TOM. Poor Sarah Jessica Parker. All upset now because Maxim called her the unsexiest woman alive. Scott on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Long time, first time. How are you? Doing okay, Scott. I'm glad I got on. I just I feel very passionately about this Sarah Jessica Parker thing. She's the most scary-looking woman I've ever seen. Put a black hat on her. She's the Wicked Witch of the West. She's got a nose that could sink the Titanic. My God, how can they portray her as anything even remotely attractive? It drives me crazy. 
Well, because the aging broads who like watching Sex in the City, they say, hey, I wish I could look that good. Oh, and, gosh, and, most of them do look better. That's what gets me. I just, I see you on a magazine. No, you know what? I got to tell you, as, as bad as Sarah and Jessica Parker looks to guys, uh, if you take a trip down to, like, pavilions tomorrow morning about 1030 in the produce <laughs> department, just look around. There's a lot worse. Uh, well, yeah, she's By the way, let me correct that. You won't find them in the produce department because they don't eat produce. Uh, you'll find them in the frozen food aisle. <laughs> well, I, I can imagine her uh, grazing through a chain link fence with those teeth, too. It's just amazing. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Unattractive uh, she is. It's just grotesque beyond belief. She should get off the air. If she's listening, Sarah, please just get off the airwaves. And all those old old ladies that are on the news that they're suing to get back on the news, get them off, too. I'm tired of looking at them. They're disgustingly horrible. And please, my God. Well, the Sex in the place. City was a show. Uh, by the way, let me give the male perspective on Sex in uh, the City, okay? Sex in the City was a show about four aging alcoholic broads who can't see the truth right in front of their eyes. They sit there, and every week on the show, they would talk about why they can't meet the man of their dreams. And my answer is simple, because you're a bunch of turkey-necked, aging alcoholics. Of course you can't meet the man of your dreams. You shouldn't have been such little snots when you were 19 years old saying no to everybody. Maybe you'd have somebody by now. Now, that's the true plot of Sex of the City from a male perspective. Well, there you go. <laughs> uh, no argument here. Well, anyway, I'm, this is getting me so mad, I'm going to probably uh, rear-end somebody or something on the freeway. Can you just blow me up, Tom? I certainly can. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Michael on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. How are you this afternoon? Great. Uh, I'm probably a little bit older than uh, your regular demographic. Uh, I'm actually in my early 40s, and a couple of years ago, after my wife and I split, split up, I got turned on to you by a very, very close friend, and I am extremely happy that he turned me on to you. So I commend you for the work that you do. Outstanding advice every day. Thank you. As you know, I'm the Mother Teresa of broadcasting. <laughs> well, that may be true, but uh, you certainly helped me out a lot because uh, I used to be one of those other guys, and now I'm not. So, you know, don't only spend the 40 bucks, and the girls don't get the flowers, and they don't get the cards, and they don't get any of that stuff, and now I'm doing just fine. Sounds good to me. Well, on the topic, you know, I don't know if you have any point of reference on this one, but there was one of those uh, the other chicks on that show um, – the redheaded one, Dixon, Cynthia Dixon, who's actually uh, a lesbian in real life. Have you ever seen a picture of her partner in any of the magazines? No. That is the homeliest girl on the face of the earth. Really? Oh, I don't know if you can go online and have Dean look it up or something, but uh, the one, the other chick, the, the redheaded one, the, the uptight one, I think it's Cynthia Dixon. Look up her partner, and, you know, the, she just way worse than Sarah wow. Jessica. Or, I mean, it really surprises me because you got to assume the chick's got some cash. She could probably do a lot better. <laughs> well, it was only... Uh, it, wait, 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 Sex of the City was only cable, and they didn't get paid much. Uh, well, you probably know more than I do. But, hell, at, le at least Ellen's got that rockin' looking chick. You know, you would think this girl could do a little better. Ellen's in national syndication. There's real money in that. You yeah, have you a series for HBO, you, know. you get good critical reviews, but they don't pay much. Well, I did. That's new information to me. Yes, so you tend to have to uh, pick an uglier broad. <laughs> well, like I said, I'm very excited that uh, I got turned on to you about 18 months ago. And from what I understand, you know, the uh, listenership is just continuing to go through the roof. And so, you know, I listen to all these young dudes that call you up, and I just can't believe what I'm hearing. But then again, I think that's who I was. And so I'm really glad that I have a chance to make a new beginning and, uh, you know, do it the likest way. So thank you very much. Sounds good to me, Michael. Thank you for the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Manual on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing okay. <laughs> hey, Tom. These people from this magazine, they were actually being real nice to her. They should have named her the ugliest person alive. The ugliest person alive? <laughs> she is. You're going to hurt Sarah Jessica's feelings. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, they wanted to be nice to her, but you know they didn't re- because they, they didn't want to put that on the on the magazine. But, oh, was that? Oh, so they were thinking ugly when they said unsexy. They, they, said they, they were sexy, they were toning it down. Ugly, yeah, they were toning it down pretty much, yeah. <laughs> yeah, ugly is a, one of those politically incorrect words you're not supposed to use. <laughs> but we all know there are women who are just homely as all get up. Ugly, for sure. Yeah, in fact, I go beyond ugly to fugly. <laughs> fugly, yeah. That was fugly. Because, f- as you know, fugly is a, it's a contraction. F apostrophe U-G-L-Y. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> I certainly can, man. You'll hear you go. This is about us. She's so special to me. It beats in my heart. Yeah, the air I breathe. She's so special to me. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Here comes Steve on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. How are you today, man? I'm doing okay. All right, good, man, good. Do you work in a strip hey. club or something? Uh, am I Am I what? You sound like a bit of a puker. Do you work in a strip club? No, no, no. I, I wish I, I wish I did. That'd be a great job. Actually, I have no job right now. I'm a uh, student. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, 10, uh, I'd like it's 101, um, you know, student, and uh, uh, that's, that's pretty much all I do. <laughs> I have no job, but I've got about three girls on the side, so. Oh, look at that. Doing all right. <laughs> All you need is a radio and some batteries, and you're all set. <laughs> exactly, man. Follow your rules, and you can't go wrong. Look at you. <laughs> all right. Well, check this out. Sarah Jessica Parker is probably one of the ugliest women alive, I must agree. But have you ever seen that Donatello um, Versace chick? Oh, oh my yeah. gosh. She looks She looks like Steven Tyler had sex with a mutant fish, <laughs> and that's what you get. Like, it is the most horrid-looking woman I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, Very yes. Funny. But her head looks like, like like someone just threw up on her neck. It, it's great. Um, um, but, uh, but, yeah, man, that's, that's pretty much all I really have to say. I really appreciate what you do on the show, man. And um, could you uh, take me out with a bong hit and shotgun? I certainly can. Love that. 1-800-5800-TOM, that's our telephone number. Well, you know, uh, Sarah Jessica Parker now hurt because Maxim Magazine's poll called her the unsexiest woman alive. Boo-hoo-hoo. Here's Jim on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Jim. What's happening? I'm doing a radio show, Jim. What's happening over there? You're making a phone call, I'm sure. Enjoying the hell out of your show. Thank you. Hey, I just wanted to let you know that I, about a month ago I heard somebody on Morning Morning Talk Radio refer to Sandra O, oh, and you were talking about how beautiful she is, and uh, she resembled the catcher's mitt with eyes. Well, somebody said she resembled the catcher's mitt with eyes? Yikes. It's pretty bad. That sounds vaguely racist, actually. I'll just stick to the horsey-faced uh, comments about Sarah Jessica Parker. All right. Take care, Tom. Sandra O oh is just, just ugly. Great body. Two-bagger. Just the way it is. Well, great for smashing that stereotype, i got to tell you. There are guys who tell me they'd do any Asian woman, and then you, you throw Sandra O oh at them, and it's like, oh, well, not her. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Here's Beth on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey. I'm... Hey. I was looking for Beth. Beth, hello. Hello. I'm here. Yeah. Driving down the 405, vacationing in Newport Beach from Redding, California. Oh, Okay. Okay, so I'm just listening to your show, enjoying it, but you are so mean to her. She's a beautiful young girl. She's a talented actress. Wait a minute. Who Who is? Sarah Jessica Parker. How old are you? I am 43. <laughs> she. Well, I hate to have, I, I got a bulletin for you, dear. Uh, she's not a young girl. She's 43. Oh, is she the same age as me? Well, I if actually if you're 43, I think, I think yes. I, I 
think I do look better than her. So maybe you have a point there. So, yeah, you're probably right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> about, oh, what? You think if she was younger, she'd look better? No, she just, you know, I've just, I've watched her career for years and she used to be younger, but now I guess she has kind of, uh, you know, gotten up there. So, yeah. Well, she's, she's no a, one's she's asking nice what girl. she looked like when she was 18. They're asking unsexiest like woman like alive today. Actually, I think she looked worse when she was 18 because now she's got a lot of fashion. Oh. <laughs> See, and uh, by the way, you, what does your husband think? Uh, here, talk to him. All right. Hi, Hello. what's your name? Hey, what's your name? My name's Dave. Dave. Sarah Jessica Parker. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Sarah Jessica Parker? Homely, right? I've never been a fan, no. Even of her looks? Absolutely. I know I know what you're talking about, yeah. Fugly. <laughs> She's got a good set of gams, though. <laughs> well, but again, that's 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 the two bagger uh, thing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you know what a two bagger is, right? Yeah. <laughs> Do you? You know what a two bagger is? Uh, why don't you explain it to me, Tom? I'm, I'm going to, because there are some people who don't know that term, two bagger. A two bagger is somebody who's so homely that you have to have them wear a bag when you're having sex with them, and you have to wear a bag, too. <laughs> that would be bisexual. Yes. Uh, but it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of like being a butterface. <laughs> you know, I I have to agree with you, Tom. Uh, and although she probably is a nice girl, I've never met her. I'm not going to meet her, but uh, she is uh, rather homely, and she could probably stop the weather or stop a clock. Exactly. Now, your wife thinks she's beautiful. Yeah, I know. Um, I think she's thinking more uh, in terms of her her talent because I know she's a she's a fan of Sarah Jessica Parker. Well, you know, women don't rate actors that way. Um, they, you know, when you see like People Magazine, the ten top actors, it's always ten guys with their shirts off. Exactly. Yeah. Most of whom have never won an Oscar, but they you rate women. Mind. They rate women according to their acting ability. Oh, Meryl Streep. Oh, Helen Mirren. My favorite actress, let's see, Colin Farrell. <laughs> yeah. I know, it's like, it's like when, when women say, and my wife would say, too, that all that Helen Mirren is, she's so cute. Well, no, she's not. She's not cute. No. Old. Of course not. Yeah, ask women for a list of the top ten. Ask your wife someday for the top ten, you know, sexiest women. Uh -huh. And you're going to get all these over the hill. You know, they're going to say, like, uh, Michelle Pfeiffer. Meg Ryan, uh -huh. uh, Sophia Loren, yeah. Raquel Well, hey. They got a name like everybody you were hot for 30 years ago. Yeah, who's that, who's that gal, honey, that I was hot for when she was doing... That? Terry Gar. Yeah, how about Terry Gar? Oh Terry God. Gar. Huh? Uh, well, how about Terry Gar? Have you seen there her you lately? <laughs> there you go, see? Have you seen Terry Gar lately? Uh, yes, I have. Now, really? Now, can stop a clock. Well, I, I haven't seen her lately myself. That was the point I was trying to make. <laughs> yes. Nice. Very nice. Well, Redding, California checking in. Thank you so much. Nice to talk to you, Dave. You bet, Tom. Love your show. Thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. <laughs> John on the Tom Likas show. Hello. You forgot to mention the two-bagger part, that the second bag is for you to wear in case hers comes off. Uh, yes, yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. No, I was going to say that I actually liked Sarah Jessica Parker before she was on Sex and the City and she was singing with a Twisted Sister. <laughs> you know, she did a great job singing We're Not Going to Take It. And, you know, I really enjoyed that part of her career. Yeah. <laughs> My curriculum vitae is as follows. I'm a cunning linguist and a master debater. I'm also, uh, I'm an amateur gynecologist. 
I've got Russian hands and Roman fingers. And on top of that, I also am the one and only state board certified interpreter who can interpret women into English. Oh, okay. It's the Tom Likas Show. Show at 1 800 5800 Tom. Sarah Jessica Parker, you know, the actress from Sex of the City. She is hurt by the Maxim magazine poll that called her the unsexiest woman alive. What do you think about that? Ashley on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, I think you're missing something here. If I might just throw my two cents in. This is not based on the most beautiful girl, this is based on the sexiest. And I think a lot of men think she's unattractive until they watch her for a couple hours, and they go, "You know what? Yeah, she's got a sex appeal. You can be." I, I don't. I don't I think, think guys. Are, no, 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 no. I don't think guys are like that. Uh, honestly, I, who are these guys? Oh, come on now. You know, you go out on a Friday night, you see a lot of girls. They may not be, you know, the most beautiful girl, but they're sexy. They have a sex appeal. I know that is a, that is the way women think. Men don't think like that. Oh, I don't know. I feel like men do not think that the fat and fugly fives have a sex appeal or women who are round as a basketball are kind of sexy. No, women who weigh 185 pounds have a beautiful face. Men don't think like that. That's that's how women think. But there are girls that are all over Maxim magazine. I mean, I've been in those magazines. I can tell you not all of those girls are all that sexy. They're, you know, or they're or they're pretty or they're not sexy. I mean, you can see a really. Well, I I, I think really only a man can decide what's sexy unless you're having sex with women. No, not at all. I think that a lot of men can find women appealing that have a sex appeal about them. That you know, I'm not talking about. I don't. I that. don't. I don't agree. When a man is with a woman who uh, would not be considered a classic beauty, it's generally because he can't afford better. Not. What about the women who are? You know, uh, people think it's subjective. I mean, there are plenty of men who can afford better, and better to them might mean. Other than small. Pierce Brosnan, name one. No, not at all. I'm talking about women who, you know, if you open up Playboy right now or Maxim right now, there are some girls who are not that beautiful, but they're sexy. They have a sex appeal. They have something um, going on. I think guys think that that's beautiful. Well, why are they in magazines that are geared towards men? Again, they're in magazines geared towards men because men think they're sexy. But that not that your point? You're talking about women who are not sexy. This is a list of girls. Oh, no, but, but the point I made to you is that men think the sexy women are beautiful. So you're saying that they're the same thing? You have to be pretty to be sexy and sexy to be pretty, and they're not the same. They're not mutually uh, exclusive. No, no. There are pretty girls who are just plain cute. Then there are girls who are beautiful, and they don't look sexual. And then there are girls who are sexy. But one thing I will tell you for sure, homely girls, fat girls, thick girls, they're not on the sexy list. But Sarah Jessica Parker is not fat. She's got uh, a great little she, body on her. Now, I agree with you. I don't think she's a she, stunning looking she's girl. She's a two-bagger. That means that you don't think... So you're telling me that you would only be with a woman that has a beautiful face, and then that's saying that it doesn't matter what her body is? I'm like. telling you... No, no. I'm telling you that a, a girl with a beautiful body and an ugly face is a butter face, and butter faces are for guys who can't afford real beauty. I would agree with that. That's absolutely so, true. So the bottom line here is that... Uh, no guy thinks a butterface is sexy. Except that if they have, if they're sexier, wouldn't you rather have a girl who's a little bit sexier than a pretty girl that's just kind of dead behind the eyes? Who's you but, know, but she may have guys a don't everything. think that butterfaces are sexy. Well, I'm just telling you that there. I was surprised to see how many men who thought Sarah Jessica Parker was a really unattractive girl, and then after watching her a little while, who I mean, are these men? They're all, they're gay. That's no, gay no, men. Absolutely. Now not. you know they're gay because I'm telling you right now, who are all these men? Well, I know how many men do you watch television with? I mean, come. Are you married? How many men are you watching TV with? No, but I've had this dinner conversations before, and I've heard men say, "Oh my God, she's so unattractive. She is hideous looking. She's a horse face." Everything that you said, and then say, "But you know what? I have to say after watching it. I mean, I'm talking about other." Just they don't think she's sexy. Maybe they think she's talented comedic actress, or maybe they think she looks like she might be smart. She is, and she's all of those things. Uh, well, by the way, I've met her. And so 
so I've funny. met Sarah Jessica Parker, and she is intelligent, Absolutely. and she is funny. There's no doubt about it. But that's not sexy or beautiful. That's intelligence and humor. Well, I think that you're talking, as usual, in, in a general demographic way. I mean, well, I, because I, – wait a minute. I'm talking in a general way because I'm talking to four and a half million people. No, I understand that. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying – but there are a lot of men who would find her sexy. Name I, an ugly, sexy woman. Ready, go. Do a what? Sorry? Name an, name an ugly, sexy woman. Go ahead. I, I can't think of an ugly, sexy woman. I'm just saying I see it all the time. That think of an unattractive, woman. sexy woman. Attractive, sexy woman? Unattractive. Uh, personally, I never thought Shannon Elizabeth was a very beautiful girl, and men think she's sexy. Great knockers. No one's ever seen her face. Well, that's not true. If you look around, there are a lot of girls like that, and those girls are gracing the pages. Again, great time. knockers. And Sarah Jessica Parker doesn't even have great knockers. She has great legs. She has great abs. She has other stuff. Mm. You're saying that that doesn't matter because she's a butterface. So she is a butterface. And by the way, Shannon Elizabeth is not ugly. Oh, I think she is. No man thinks she's ugly. <laughs> But, oh, but I'm telling you, if you do these lists, if you do a list, you have men fill out a form and say, who are the 10 hottest chicks? And then you have women fill out a list that says, who are the 10 hottest chicks? The list will be completely different. The women will be all these aging women who, uh, you know, have uh, they're past their prime. Meg Ryan, Michelle Pfeiffer, they're not hot. Meryl they're Streep. Older women. Those are not hot. Hot, women. but women will put those names down. Well... You're talking about older women putting those names down. I'm talking about a younger group of women, and I'm saying I don't think that that's something. That might be something that women aspire to look like when they're older, but that does not mean hot. If you look, at I'm telling of, you, they put that down. Not girls in their 20s and 30s. I've done. I've been doing this show for years. My audience is primarily in its 20s and 30s. I'm telling you, that's what they say. And you think a 25 year old girl thinks that Meg Ryan and Meryl Streep are what you'd call hot? I don't know if they would necessarily say Meg Ryan and Meryl Streep, but they might say Sophia Loren, or they might say, it was 75 years old, by the way, or they might say Raquel Welch. Those are beautiful older women, but I wouldn't call them hot. You're talking about, you know, well, hot. And I'm just saying, if you look at the... All I'm telling you is that if you take an overall poll of women, women are going to say Meg Ryan. By, by the way, Meg Ryan, even when she was young, to me was never sexy. She was, nope, at agree. best, cute. Cute. You know, the girl next door had an appeal. She was appealing. No, but not, not sexy. Sex was not a word I thought of when I looked at Meg Ryan. I would agree. And that's why I'm saying that's But that, women would put her on the list all the time. A lot of men put her on the list, too. I used to see her no. on the list back in her day. No, no, I don't think so. But hang on a second here. Uh, Robert, what did you want to say to Ashley? Well, Ashley, if, uh, you know, if uh, you want to say Sarah Jessica Parker's hot, she's so hot that she's burnt and crispy. She's not hot at all. She looks like a man. She acts like a man. She's a good actor. I'll give you that, or actress, whatever you want to call her. How does she act like a not man? Hot. And if you've watched her, how does how would how define that? Just very manly. She she's so beefed and ripped up like a man. She she has to overcompensate with her legs and her abs and her body just to get people to think she's sexy. She's far from sexy. She's far from, I don't think she's anything like manly. I mean, if you watch her even walking across the street, she's, you know, she does it like a dancer because she was a dancer. I agree with you. I don't think she's a beautiful girl, but I think that this is not the most beautiful girl list. This was a sexy list. And, you know, Tom's point is that, you know, has to be the same thing. And I, and I don't agree. And I think a lot of men, you know, uh, would say the same thing. I mean, you're, it's very easy to point fun at her face. I mean, you can say she has a bad nose. You can pick anybody apart. But if you look she's at pages sexy of by any means. Playboy, there those not sexy already. by any means. Sexy is a whole package. It's a, it's a way of acting and the looks. You exactly. can't just have sexy. So then how is she sexy? If that's your point. Well, I mean, you have to define that for yourself, but I think that she's sexy. When you watch her, she's sexy. You just agreed with me. You just agreed with me as sexy as a package, as beauty it and is. sex appeal. Then how is she sexy if she's not beautiful? Because, you know, it's just like when you, when you watch somebody, it's the same as when you get to know them. If they're bringing a confidence and a personality, somebody is sexual, they come across as a sexual person, you start thinking that they're prettier. And I'm not saying that she's a, you know, beauty, but I definitely think that she has a sex appeal that even to men, you know, if you just looked at her in a page on a magazine, I absolutely agree with you. Not a stunner. But if you watched her on screen for a while, she's got that charisma. She has something that she brings to the table that even men find sexy. I just think that this isn't... I don't, again, I don't think you can separate between men thinking she's a good comedic actress, uh, she might be smart, from being sexy. 
But, yeah, but exactly. Men, two different know, things. Yeah, but even well, you can be men. good at what you do, but you're not sexy. You can be a great actor, a good comedian, but that doesn't make you sexy. Yeah, but I, do, I can do taxes great. Am I sexy? No. Yeah, but if you're smart and you're bringing and you're and you're funny, right there, that's bringing something to the table. Men that. don't care about smart when they're talking about sexy. Um, I you think have to do. be smart. And Only in New York, the home of the ball-busting bitches, uh, do men think that way. The rest of the world doesn't. Well, I think L.A. is a little more superficial, I'll grant you that. But uh, No, no, we... L.A. is not superficial. Uh, we're, we're better consumers. In New York, guys are conditioned to be attracted to ball-busting bitches because their mothers are ball-busting bitches, their aunts are ball-busting bitches, their cousins or female cousins are ball-busting bitches. So they've been conditioned to think that ball-busting bitches are sexy. But Sarah Jessica Parker is not one of those, and neither was her character. That's not my point. My point I'm making to you is that uh, the guys in New York have this idea that, uh, uh, unlike guys, I think in most of the rest of the country, that intelligence uh, somehow compensates uh, for a lack of physical uh, uh, attractiveness. I just think if you look at any of those magazines, like I said, some of those girls, yeah, you can pose them a certain way and this and that. But if you met them for two seconds, you might not think they're sexy. I mean, we know, by the way, you, you again wrong because we're not looking to have a conversation. We're looking to get your panties off and get your get your legs spread. We're really not concerned about how smart you are or what magazines you've read recently. Yeah, but you could be a hot girl and not be sexy. You want a girl that's just going to lay there in bed? I don't think that's very interesting either. Well, no, but I'll tell you what. Cool. That's I, not sexy. I'd rather have just just like just like a blow up doll. I'd rather have a hot chick who sits there and does nothing than to be with a butterface. Well, I think for someone who claims to be so wealthy, I think you could be more discerning. Why not have some? Well, I am quiet? discerning. I am discerning, and I don't have to make those choices. But many of the listeners do. Well, if that's their choice, then I think they should look at what's sexy, not just what's pretty. That's my point. I think. Well, they, they have to trade down. Well, you know, I, if I they if they could have human beings at like a Ross Dress for Less or a TJ Maxx. You know, there'd be uh, bargain bins or like a blue blue light special, and you'd have butter faces on sale for two ninety nine. And guys who couldn't afford, uh, you know, really hot chicks, they'd have to go there. I think that she's an easy target. I think because she's rammed down your throat. Because she's homely. As a sexy girl, and you know, you know and she's homely. Uh, but not only that, she she she's like she's thought of as like some fashion maven or something. When in reality, most guys think she's really really ugly. She's an ugly person that society is trying to portray, or gay society, or whatever, is trying to portray as, as a sexy girl that's not. She's a good actor, and I'll give you that, but she's not sexy. Well, and I think that's Maxim's point, obviously. That's, like I said, that's what we're talking an about. easy target. No, I understand that. I just think that if you, I really would dare you to watch her on screen for longer than just here and there, and you will start thinking that she's sexier than you think. If no, you'll start sexy. thinking she's a good comedic actress, not just which that. she is. You shouldn't have to watch someone for a couple hours to see if they're sexy. Well, as a man's point of view. Yeah, that's yeah, what you, saying. Don't, you don't have to. You don't have to watch. Uh, uh, you don't have to watch Pamela Anderson for for two hours to think if she's sexy. It's true, except I think there are people who are far less sexy than Sarah Jessica Parker. I think that that she's just an easy shot because of the fact that pe so yes. many. Yes. Oh, I'm sure on the good. cerebral palsy telethon, you'll probably find a few people, or uh, you know, but some other places. But come on, generally speaking, among public figures. Well, that's that's really fun and flashy for a radio show, but I think you and I both know there are plenty of girls who are less sexy who are actors, for that matter, who you see all the time. They're not very sexy girls. She's just an They're not person. portrayed as being sexy. Are they portrayed as being sexy? No. Sarah um, Jessica Parker is portrayed as being the sex symbol. She had a show called Sex in the City. Like, like everybody in that city wanted to get with her, more or less. You know? No. I think it's if you watch television, great. you know, a couple nights in a row, you'll see a lot of girls who are on sitcoms or on shows. They're not very sexy either. It's just that she's, you know, are put they, on the pedestal as being sexy. So I think that's the expectation. Are they, yeah, but she set herself up for that. I'm sure she has a publicist and didn't say, no, don't portray me to be sexy. She knew what she was getting herself into. But she herself would claim she's not a traditional beauty. I, I think she's even said it in articles. I mean, I think that you have to know what you are. Oh, no, no, wait a minute. Not, not a traditional beauty. I love the way women try to tone this down. Ugly. We're not talking about not a traditional duty. Ugly. Have you watched her on the show? Ever? I've seen enough. Hey, Tom. The Tom Likas Show.